right, this time we're going to be doing Modbus Serial. We've got this UART to RS-232 um, converter. Got it, I don't know, a couple bucks off Amazon. And we're going to be connecting to the 5 volt and the UART pins and the ground. And also, we're going to do a USB version. I'll show you how to connect both of those. USB is probably fairly simple. I've got my custom cable here. This is for a Koyo DL06 or DL05 I created. We're going to control this guy, the uh, Modbus serial, using that port 1. So let's get started. Alright, you can see we've got some, uh, my purple is the, the 5 volt, my RX is the gray, the TX is blue, and the ground is green. We're going to connect them to the pins here. Um, I've got my diagram of where they go. I printed this out. You can tell I've got lots of color. I'm just kidding. It's just black and white. But we're going to be connected to, connecting to pins 4, 6, 8, and N. Let's get that connected. All right. Purple and green are my positive and ground. We've got it on the first and second pin, or the second and third pins. These two end pins are five volt. Gray is my, gray is RX and blue is TX. And on my sheet, I've got RX as the last one, and TX is this blue one here. Should have done it in order. There we go. All right. Um, I power this up. There is a little LED on this thing that should light up. So let's find out. and 5 volt there we go LED. okay got my old screen there we go it's working so let's write up some code on pi modbus and see if we can turn on some of these koyo outputs um a DL06 normally doesn't have Modbus TCP, but I do have a Ecom 100, which it does have Modbus TCP. But port 1 is Modbus serial capable, Modbus RTU 9600 mod. Port 2 also has it, but you have to configure it specifically. This is only slave mode, so cannot be a master through port 1. Port 2 can. Just a brief summary on the Koyo. Um, this is just a DC-DC, so no relays, just syncing outputs. Uh, but we're going to turn some outputs on. There's no program in this PLC, but you can control the outputs directly through Modbus. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get the USB one out of the way. So I made this, uh, this is the mail end. I gave it a mail and because it went easily with my little adapter, you can see that makes it a lot easier. I won't need a gender changer. This will go in port one. This will go right here. Right there. Um, let me quickly change the resolution. See if we can do that. And so it's nice and big for us. That is awesome. Okay, let's do this. Python. So if you don't have IPython, the let me show you how to install it. You can use sudo apt-get install IPython. It's really good for quick tests. You just want to code on the fly. So let me import 
our library. Let's set up the default. Our client, I'm going to call it Koyo. Libra Studio client, odd parity, 9600 baud. Here, where, over here, this is where our UART port is assigned in the Pi. And uh, similar to COM1 or COM2 in Windows. So TTYAMAO. So Koyo.read coils. 2048 is where the outputs start. We're not going to have any outputs on. I'm going to read one byte's worth. And you have to specify the RTUID in this because it's default to send to you the RTUID of 0, which is the broadcast one. And this Koyo doesn't respond to that. So I don't know if you caught, but we just got our coil response. If you want to. Oops see what those bits are. There you go. They're all off. Koyo.write coils. I'm going to turn the first output on, hopefully. So this is my coil location. This is where the outputs start. If you don't start here, this the C memory is what you'd be writing to. So I'm going to be writing, writing to the Ys. Where we should be turning on output 0. To true for this unit. And if you can tell, there's a little red light. So if we read the coils, we should have the first one be true of all the eight, and we do. Now let's do, do have a little fun. 4x in range 2048. Start with 9. Alright. You could do this, so Koyo dot, take that back. So I need to speed it up. It's got a delay of three seconds when I read and write. So you can go to that, I hit tab, you can see what this has in it. I want to change the socket. That's the serial part of this communication. You can see what it has in it. Of course we have our port. I'm gonna be changing timeout. You can see what it says, it's three. I'm going to be changing it to a tenth of a second so that we can change stuff quicker. So we're going to do that. Toyo dot right coil x. I'm going to set them all to true and the unit is one. We should see all our little lights turn on fairly quickly. Ding! All done. Let's do it. Uh, let's turn them off. Uh, I gotta hit enter again. Okay, there. You could speed it up a little bit more, but I noticed, so I'm gonna speed it up to really fast. And wait a minute. Let's make them true. And it didn't do a thing. It went so fast and it didn't even register anything. Let's do this now. 048. We can turn off the first output. Turn on the cut. Yeah. Yep, it doesn't doesn't even read quick enough. So depending on the speed, you may be able to write or not. So that's how you read and write to the coils on a Koyo using the UART. Let me hurry and set up the serial for you and we can do that, or the USB. We can go through that. All right, I'm gonna leave my Pi on while I do this. Where did I put that? Let's go back up here. So in uh, PyModBus, or IPython, sorry, you can hit the ls command. So I'm going to, you can see all my good stuff there. So I am going to say ls dev and see if my 
TTY USB. So that is my USB serial adapter that I just connected. So I'm going to go up here, hit the up arrow a bunch, and change this to USB zero. Leave everything else the same, and I should be able to write to that output. And there we go. That light turned on. Oh, I have to I have to set up that timeout to be quicker again because it resets the socket. So that's how you write to coils with the serial. Hope you enjoyed. If you have questions, this is the only serial Modbus serial device I have, so I can't test anything else unless somebody wants to send me a free one. But thank you for watching. If you have questions, let me know.